What's up guys, it's me and Nico321 making another tutorial. This time it's on energy storage, so MFSU, MFE and Batbox. This is what it looks like. So firstly, first things first, if you place any of these down, you will see that on each one there's this orange dots on one side and nothing else on every other side. So if I make it pointing up, that's the bottom of it, which will be underneath there, etc etc. So this there's this one dot. This dot here is the output, so if I wanted to output power from this, so I, um, if you want to output power from this and you stick it like that and then put your machine here, it wouldn't work, but if you want to output power from here, it works. So, just wanted to explain that. The way you make the, the actually first of all, go with the statistics. So, each one, like the MFSU will output the high voltage, which is 512. MFE will do medium voltage which is 128 and low voltage will do 32 as you can see they're multiples of 4 of each other I think roughly however they also input have to have that input so for example with a high voltage if you put a low voltage through them they're all fine and they'll all charge up see oh yeah and then if you put a medium voltage this one should explode oh never mind that doesn't explode that's weird. Whatever. And if the high voltage, see, they explode. I shook when it when that happened. I'm still not used to explosions. <laughs> um, I shook quite a lot. Anyhow, un no, that's a medium voltage. Good. So high voltage explodes. Medium voltage doesn't ex supposedly doesn't explode. These two, I wouldn't trust the bat box. Uh, and low voltage works for all of them, but it's, it's slow, as you can see. So anyhow, um, furthermore, a third difference between another difference between all of them, other than the textures, well, a different second difference is the storage. Like this here can take forty thousand, this here can take six hundred thousand, and this one here can take ten million. Yeah, ten million. Um, and the outputs on that speed. Also, you can change their settings. So, for example, if this doesn't admit anything, so if I put a... I macerate the texture back, the texture is smacked up. So, for example, if I put the low voltage thing here, this sh shouldn't charge up. Ah, right. Wait, never mind. Ignore what I said, they don't, they obviously don't work at the moment. They work on the other thing. So anyhow, um... That, that that doesn't work. So if I, for example, if I uh, if I stick this uh, into a low voltage thing, I agree. If I stick this to a low voltage thing, it explodes again. I didn't shake that time. Good. <laughs> um, but yeah, but if you stick it to a medium voltage thing, this is gonna have a lot of holes. <laughs> Quite literally. So, see another explosion. But if you stick it to the low voltage thing, as you saw earlier, it works. The only thing you can stick onto this would be the well, the thing that can take its power without having a transformer is the mass fabricator. See, I'm not sure what can take medium voltage power from the top of my head, but maybe. Maybe induction furnaces, I'm not so sure. Yep, they can take medium voltage because they're tight tier 2. And tier 1 machines can go there. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial was slightly useful. In some, oh yeah, I forgot, I nearly forgot. Crafting recipes, everyone's favourite tap, tap part of the, the video. The bat box, it takes 5 wood, mm. 1 copper cable and an RE battery. Copper cable, you know how to make it by now. RE battery was, uh, for God's sake, one copy cable up here, four tin, one there, one there, one there, one there, and two redstone, it doesn't show the recipe for some reason. MFE is four energy crystals, four two times insulated gold cables, and one machine block. The energy crystals are made by one diamond and eight redstone, um, and then the gold, cab two gold cable is made by this. If you want to, you can just make gold cable on the bottom, then you stick rubber next to it, and then you stick rubber against that, but it's basically that. Um, and the uh, 
machine block is 8 refined iron, which you get by smelting iron. The MFSU is made really, really complicated. Um, the MFE, which you know the recipe already, a advanced circuit, 6 epitron crystals along the sides, and a advanced machine block. The advanced circuit is made by 2 redstone, 4, red, no, four redstone, 2 glowstone, and 2 lapis lazuli. An electronic circuit, which is made by six copper cables, two redstone, and one refined iron. Yay! Brilliant, isn't it? And everyone loves this part of yeah, the video. Um, what else? Then the advanced machine block is made by a machine block, two advanced alloy, and carbon plate. Carbon and um, advanced alloy is made by compressed mixed metal ingot, which is made by three refined iron, three copper, and three tin. Um, and then finally, if I can find it again, ah, here it is, <laughs> um, whatever, and finally, the Lapidron Crystals, which are made by six Lapis Azuri, two electronic circuits, one energy crystal, so, and it makes that, it doesn't need to be charged or anything, energy crystal can be empty, just so that you know, yeah. silly cow. Cinema machinery. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial ever so slightly useful. My map is slowly filling up with stuff again. Yay! <laughs> um, this is me, Erinika321, and all, as always, actually, I forgot to mention this. If you have a suggestion of how to improve my layout or don't like it, tell me how. If you're gonna thumbs up it, thumbs up it, then thumbs up it. Thumbs down, but please tell me how to improve, and I will. I read every single comment on the in the um, comment box. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This is me, I'm Nico Three Two One, signing out.